Entry is 4922. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this thing is still coming down. <laughs> That's 10 points. <laughs> I'm out of this trade. <clears throat> yeah, let me get the TikTok going. Gang. What's up, TikTok? What's going on? Just took a nice short from the top. My goodness. That was beautiful. Good day to bounce back. A good way to bounce back after yesterday. <clears throat> YouTube, how we doing? I'm going to close this so I don't bug the wifey. What is up, gang? Nice morning. Killer morning. Here we go. Trading SPY and ES. Just took this trade on ES. What's up, what's up, what's up? This is trading view. Yeah, we're gonna go over what we saw here. Order flow really showed itself, which was nice. <clears throat> My broker is Ninja Trader. Let me, let me find something real quick. Let's plug this. How we doing this morning, y'all? What's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? I trade it every day. Yeah, every day. Good morning, Isno. What's up? Alex, what happened yesterday? That drop um, yesterday. Yeah, had a quite the move down, huh? Created a supply up there. Piper, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I mean, when we're at all-time highs, that's the thing. You don't know what the market's going to do. Obviously, the market's really, you know, aggressive, pushing up. But at the same time, right, I say this every time that um, when, when everybody is thinking the same thing, the market usually does the opposite because easy, very easy way to grab liquidity for the bigger players in the market. User 3233, thanks for the follow. All right, so this is the trade that we just took. <clears throat> this is the trade we just took. What we saw here was 
entry was actually up here on this candle. It's about right here. Bring this up. We were out a little bit early. I wish I caught that whole move. So <clears throat> as we're pushing up, we have supply finally, finally, right? We've been trading at all time highs. I mentioned in the Discord, you finally have supply and demand. So happy about that. I'm a supply and demand trader, so uh, primarily, I should say. We had an immediate reaction here on the two minute. <clears throat> this five minute had a lot of volume in it, and typically I don't reject when there's that much volume. Um, but a lot of this volume was coming from this, this two minute area where we had, again, higher volume and bearish indication. So within that five minute candle, there's bearish volume. Then what was like the, the uh, uh, cherry on top of all of this is, let me back up. You're looking at a five minute footprint chart here. We're pushing up when we have in balance really the whole way. Uh, where's my, uh, there we go. Right, we have sellers that are interested. Finally, when we reach supply, um, we could see that push down, and then this was the primary candle. If you want to see the this uh, this chart, we're streaming this on YouTube. Um, and this candle showed lots of sellers in it. We pushed up. It was we had a little bit of drawdown, about a one and a half points, two points. So I was close to stopping out, honestly, but that aggressive push kept us in and. Uh, yeah, I took that for a nice ride down, six, seven points. I have to go check. Darnell, waiting for rejection off the EMAs with some nice bearish volume. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Tonka truck, thanks for the follow. How do you get that flowchart? So you have to pay for it. Um, it's a paid feature on Ninja Trader. What are we drawing with right now? Uh, we do live stream it on YouTube. Yep, so if you want access to that, that's being streamed on YouTube. Link for that is in my bio. Richie Rich says, strong buyers here, I'm long. Yeah, it looks like that was held up right at VWAP. Primetime Manny, appreciate the follow. We're, we're, um, <clears throat> chilling after that, uh, after that trade. Let's see what we can get here. Does Thinker Swimmer trading view have it? It does not have the order flow yet. Nope. You have to, because it's, uh, <clears throat> well, I guess trading view could technically offer it. I've looked and they don't. Um, but Ninja Trader is a futures only broker. And so, um, you know, that's something that they, that, that's what we're watching, right? We're watching the ES futures, aggressive buys and sells. Primetime Manny down today. Uh, no, we're up big right now. This guy lost last trade. I saw his PL. He lost 87%. I don't know who you're talking about, Pat. <laughs> A, I don't show my PL. And B, um, this last trade was a banger. <laughs> we only took one trade today, and it was this one to the downside. Made a point, got out, didn't like what I was seeing. Fair enough. Hey, you're green. What's the bottom chart? That's SPX. Yeah, Pat, again, talk as much smack about me as you want, but anybody else, you're done. Enjoy watching from the sidelines, brother. We don't put up with that. <clears throat> User 1313, appreciate the follows. That's a quick, that's a quick mute right there. Maybe some haters in here. Yeah, Pat, thanks for the follow. Stick around. I mean, we got a lot of, a lot of people that made a lot of money in these lives. 
can come back and chat tomorrow if you'd like. <clears throat> but with a different attitude. Commander, thanks for the follow. Tim, thanks for the follow. What EMA, EMA you think is best for one minute chart like crossover? I, so I don't trade the crossovers, Entrepreneur Life. Um, I use the nine and 20, but primarily on the five minute and the 15 minute. <clears throat> Same bet. Yeah, I mean, those are the ones that I found the most luck with. Let's see, what do we bounce off of? Just the day's low. Do you only trade futures primarily? Yeah, yeah, that's what works best for me. So I just stick to, you know, what, what works great. <clears throat> do you teach trading? Yes, yep. Yeah, I got tons of free content on the TikTok and on my YouTube. Um, and then have the learning suite with a full-blown course that teaches a strategy and the Discord where I teach in real time, share my entries, share that entry on the Discord right before it happened. It's like two minutes to enter. Thoughts on Tesla? Tesla's been down for a while, huh? Typically bullish. You just gotta be like aware that Tesla at any point in time can just run and just rip, but it's it's down right now. And when's it, is the earnings tonight? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So I wouldn't be in anything going into the earnings release. That'd be crazy. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <clears throat> I have another account, bud. Oh, is this Josh? This is who I just muted. Didn't know you trade SPX. I take back my trash talk. And it's actually ES that I trade, Josh. And uh, no, we're happy to have you here, but respectful of everybody else, especially of their positions. Everybody trades differently. So, uh, you know, love only, good vibes only here is what we're about. Just Gui, appreciate the follow. Have you done the giveaway? Not yet. So yeah, E. Garcia, great question. <laughs> if you if you saw that, that uh, if you're in the Discord, you saw what I posted. I posted on TikTok and they actually they actually hit my account said that it was fraudulent for some reason. I appealed it and luckily they took it away, but it's still, like it didn't hit the algorithm uh, just based on the engagement on it. So we're gonna run the giveaway uh, through the rest of the day, just give everybody a chance to see it and figured I would talk about it on today's live as well. So we're doing a giveaway for that same course and the premium discord that I just mentioned. Um, the requirements for the to enter into that are just to follow my socials, my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and go subscribe on YouTube, and to like my last YouTube video. Go like my last YouTube video, um, and if you do that, we will uh, we'll put you in the ent in uh, put you into the giveaway, and then we'll announce it on tomorrow's live, and we'll gift yeah we'll gift um, the course and premium discord um, to whoever wins. Third, fourth quarter wins bullish. Max, thanks for the follow. How do you trade ES? You need a broker. Need a broker uh, that can trade futures. So I use need a trader. Elta Saw, thanks for the follow. I think it was yesterday, dropped $20. Oh, I might've missed something, Luciano. Oh, earnings was last night? Surprised I didn't see a big drop. Oh no, you're right, earnings was last night. 
No, you're right. My bad. Sheesh. You're not live. Earnings was yesterday. <laughs> I'm reading the comments in full time. Yeah, no, that's just a mistake on my end. Could you say what you said again about the teaching thing? Yeah, so I put out tons of free content, tons of free content on my TikTok and my YouTube. You can go subscribe to my YouTube and the link in my bio. And I'm doing a giveaway for the formal, you know, uh, coaching and mentorship that I have. So I have I have a course and I have a premium Discord where I teach in real time every day. I'm on there. I share a daily watch list. We have a trading floor where I share all my trades. Um, and we're doing a giveaway for that. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, go follow all my socials, uh, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and <clears throat> uh, comment on my last video. I'll pull it up for you right here. On my last video and just say giveaway, and that'll enter you into, here's my YouTube channel. That will enter you into right here. This one that says shortcut to profitability. Click on that, scroll down a little bit, go down to where it says, go down to the comments and just type in giveaway. And that will enter you into the giveaway for the course and the Discord. While you're there, go like it up and uh, take a look at this video too. I mean, this is this is really, this is how I became profitable, my re risk reward journey. So I do this to help y'all. And that's the whole point of these lives. If you're new here, the whole point of these lives are to help you become profitable faster and independently. I'm here to answer questions. I'm here to go over the trades that I took. We just covered you know, exactly what we saw here so that you could take a similar trade. Um, more so than anything else, I wanna educate you. And that's what we're here for. I didn't have somebody like that when I was coming up, when I was learning. And uh, so I want to be want to be an ally for anybody else so you don't make the same mistakes I did. <clears throat> Lisa, Layla, Eltunja, thanks for the follows. Dwayne says, how do you trade ES? You need a broker that can do it, like Ninja Trader. That's what I use, Trade of 8. For shorts, says Darnell. You watching shorts? Throw those 2K from credit spreads tomorrow. Oh no, LeBron calling it, I'm sorry. Zach, what's up? Good morning, good morning. How we doing? Movie King, thanks for the follow. What? thanks for the follow. Cooper says, wait, what giveaway? We're doing a giveaway for the course in the premium Discord. Go follow the socials and comment on my last YouTube video giveaway. Easy 200% going back to sleep. Low. Good night. Congrats. <laughs> Congrats. That's awesome. So we're holding above this 50% right now. As far as what we're watching for trades now, a couple things. Couple things. If we can get below, hmm. It's a pretty strong push down. If we break below ES VWAP, you could potentially see some continuation down to this, uh, yeah, 4904 area. Yeah, we could very well bounce here, but um, we'll see. We'll see, you gotta watch volume. That last uh, 15 minute candle that closed had a lot of volume in it. I'm gonna be curious to see how this, this one closes. We do have a lot of sellers on the uh, order flow. Take a look at this here. We're live streaming this on YouTube if you wanna see this in real time, um, but you can see the sellers are definitely present at the lows here. 4912 area, 4911, 1100 lots. 
On that last push down, we didn't see as many. So there's buyers present here as well. Smaller time frames, you know, kind of a bearish indecision candle. I'd lean a little more bearish on that last five minute, two minute. Looks like we're a little back and forth. So we patiently wait. Patiently wait. We're at 538 likes right now. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. <clears throat> do you have any videos on how to read order flow? I do on my TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, I do on my TikTok. I created one like two weeks ago, I want to say, maybe three weeks ago. Surveil Co., there's a three-day fair value gap. On like a three-day chart? I don't think I've ever looked at the market in that way. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... Um, I've looked at the two-day before. Man, if anybody's still in this from the Discord, thing is still moving down. I mean, at the lows here, if you caught this whole move, holy smokes. My personal entry on ES was 4922.5. I think you saw 4911. So over a 10 point move, good move down. Jeff, appreciate the likes. Too kind, too kind, thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> appreciate you Jeff the likes help push this into the algorithm help us help more people and uh, I just appreciate the appreciate the love as well Jeff with thumbs up So you know what's cool? I always preach how, how I'm a transparent trader. We got on yesterday and right as we got on, I got out break even on a trade because it looked like it went into reverse and then it moved in my direction for 10 points. The beauty of that though, right? I was, I was fully transparent. Yesterday was a red day. I've had two red days this month. First day of, uh, of trading on the month, January 2nd <laughs> and of the year. That was a little red day for me. Yesterday was a little red as well. And I was, I was saying, hey, we're gonna take it to the chin. We don't wanna force anything else. This one trade today, this one trade today made up for yesterday's loss. And that's the key. I, mean, I preach this over and over and over again. Um, <clears throat> you have to have, you have to skew risk reward in your favor when it comes to your trades. Your winners have to be bigger than your losers. And if they're not, then your losers are gonna swallow up all of your winners. And that's gonna screw you. Um, so <clears throat> make sure that as you're building your system, building a strategy, your winners, you build a strategy where you you can lose because you will, you will lose. Um, it's inevitable in trading. Most even professional traders are wrong about 50% of the time, but their winners are so much bigger than their losers that it's okay. And that's the key. And that's how I trade. So I shared with you all of my losses and all of my wins. Um, and you saw one on live. I took, I took a loss on the live, took a break even right after that and said, Hey, I'm going to call it. Um, and you know, you'll get that transparency. Do you swing trade at all? Jay diamond? Not really. Not really. Who do you use as a broker? So I trade futures. Ninja trader is my broker. I have some money in a Weeble account. I, I rarely use it though. How do you chart those diagonal lines? So this was actually just a fib. This is the fib tool. Yeah, you can see. And then the Fibonacci, I believe, is over here. Might be up top. I put it in a shortcut. There we go. That's yeah, right here. And if you use TradingView, highlight your uh, the tools that you use most often. It'll put it in this little favorites bar. So I, I rarely ever do that, but I have my Fibonacci tool here. 
my long short position levels. This is how I su chart supply and demand with the rectangle. Makes it so much easier. A little trading view tip for you. Does Ninja Trader use MT5? It does not. It does not. Joff, appreciate the follow. Down there at 486, do you have a demand zone, Alex? At 485.5. Yep, I do. Yeah, we had a 30 minute like rally base rally area earlier. This comes from the 30 minute time frame. And we did break under this after hours yesterday, but I don't count that as valid. It looks like we held it pretty well. And then we actually created a 30 minute zone within that zone. So I could see that up to 48, 486. Yeah, you could use this as a basing candle as well. 100%. This was a previous gap fill that is filled. We'll remove that. Oh, on the one hour, Kooj? Uh, yeah, I could see it. I could see it. It's not as clean because the following candle broke below it a little bit, but you know, still valid. Yeah, 486 could, could be the area. Do you go live at the same time every day? Pretty much, yes. Pretty much. 10.30 Eastern Standard Time to about 12. De facto on YouTube says, Preach, congrats on the big win today. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was good to come back after a little red day yesterday. Um, yeah, it was nice to catch that, catch that win. I wish I caught more of it, honestly. You got it, Colossus. Zuni hair. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Alex, do you only trade spy and futures? Not any stocks like Tesla or Apple. Yeah, it's primarily, it's primarily ES and spy. I stick to, I stick to what works. Cooch says lesson learned, man. If it's within 10 points of my entry, I need to get in. Esteban. Good morning. Joff says, what's your YouTube again? If you go to the direct.me slash mind your growth link that's in my bio, that'll uh that'll take you right to it. Looking for a re-entry play today. Um <clears throat> so we're hugging this 50% retracement. Looks like we might we might want to break. There's two things here that I have on watch. You know, we have this this fair value gap in this area. Where's my magnet? Here we go. Pre-market fair value gap. That's also, you know, partly what's holding this up. If we get volume to the upside, if we get, you know, price action that shows we want to flip, I could, I could watch this for a bounce. Yeah, I could absolutely watch this for a bounce. If not, I think, you know, we could get continuation. Might be a choppy, choppy move down to my area. Um, I like this high confluence area of forty-five point, you know, four because there's a previous day close. That's that yellow line there as well. Joff says, for some reason I can't see people's bios. Just click my name in the top left corner. It'll take you to my profile. Yeah, I mean, you could try searching for it on YouTube. It's the same name on TikTok that I have on TikTok, Mind Your Growth. Um, <clears throat> But I don't, I don't know if, I don't think YouTube, the YouTube search function is really all that great for accounts. Can you check INJ daily bias? INJ. I don't know, I don't know what this is. This is a crypto. Full transparency. Looks like we're in the middle of a range. We're really like at the bottom of it. Might be trying to break below. Um, yeah, this is this looks bearish. We're trying to trying to break below that, in my opinion. If we hold here on the daily, 
I think you're in for more downside. Yeah, that like false breakout yesterday, but we put in a lower high when we did that and then moved down. Oh, not this, it's ING UST. <laughs> INJ UST. Let's see here. Looks the same. Yeah, it looks the same. Um, how do you handle when you have an entry price you want? Do you always wait until the exact price? Uh, yes. Yeah, pretty much. I, I try to, and that's usually where I get the best entries. Um, that said, like today, today we had an interesting kind of dilemma. On ES, the supply area that I had was a little bit higher, but um, SPY touched it. SPX, the area was just a touch higher as well, right? I ideally wanted 4,900, but where it's so close, you know, if we're within two or three points, I'm interested in it. And I will watch volume, price action, and order flow. And if those things say that we're, you know, we're gonna reject early, if, if you know, volume starts to pick up a little bit early, I'm okay taking it. Thanks for sharing this stuff, man, you got it. Ryan says, you skipped my comments twice now, brother. Oh, Ryan, what was your question? Sorry, man. A lot of comments. Sorry, I missed it. What was your question? I'm going back to see if I can find it. I don't see any comments from you, Ryan. Did TikTok remove it? I saw when you said, been down bad. Um, that's it though. Thanks, Alex. You got it. Good short when it breaks daily support. I would, uh, yeah, watch for it to break it and then, um, wait for a retest. That's what I like the most. <clears throat> if this 15 minute candle can close bullish above VWAP, um, could try playing this up to the highs again. If you're, if you're watching spy ES. I think he asked about Tesla. Oh, I looked at Tesla briefly. Yeah, that's when we were talking about earnings and when I misread the earnings date. <laughs> so we just had earnings overnight. Just had earnings overnight, massive gap down. Looks really bearish. You know, we were already starting this bearish trend. Looks bearish from the daily. We're breaking beneath this swing low. If we hold down here, you know, I think we're we're due for another move down. Excuse me. Another move down to this area. To like 164. From the daily time frame. <clears throat> and then beyond. What do we look like on the weekly? Yeah, if you're looking to add Tesla to your portfolio, you know, if you if you uh, average in, not a bad area for it. Not a bad area. You know, this one sixty six area could be another add. Actually, before that, you're going to see 180, right about where we are. Yeah, it's a good area. 187, we break below that, you know, 160s. <clears throat> um, what are the hot picks? What do you mean, Miguel? What do you mean by that? That's weird, LOL. <laughs> Need spy to drop. Can you check S O X L? S O X L. Let's take a quick look. Thoughts on penny stocks? I think you can be profitable trading anything. This is a leveraged. Interesting. 
Um, I used to trade penny stocks. Yeah, I don't anymore. I trade supply and demand, and you don't, you can't really trade supply and demand with uh, penny stocks. This looks, this looks strong. You're gonna hit like a resistance area up here at about 47, 46. SOXL, uh, Miguel, I know you're asking about that. Yeah, 46 whole site number, probably gonna be big. <clears throat> yeah, look at the hourly. Nice trend up. Daily, hourly, yeah. Yeah, next stop 47, that's what I would say. Um, I've heard they're easily influenced and not good at all, but I can really afford, but all I can really afford. Uh, the grind, you can, <clears throat> you can, um, there's, there's cheaper options contracts you can buy too. You know, there's, um, like I was talking to a buddy about a firm, uh, when <clears throat> collab on, uh, on here one day on a live, he's saying that a firm is really good for small accounts. I don't personally trade it, but you know. I would be, if I traded penny stocks, you know what I would do? I would figure out a way to short them. I think that's a killer edge because most brokers you can't, or most brokers that people will use. I've seen some of them. Is it trade zero? Anybody have a, have any experience with Trade Zero, the broker? I'm pretty sure you can you can short equity with them. I've never used them, you know, full transparency, but but uh, there's some out there. So yeah, and I mean, as you trade, you know, that's that's one of the first things you want to look for is an edge, something that gives you the ability ability over somebody else. And, uh, you know, if most people cannot short penny stocks, that's just a natural edge. <clears throat> Weeble cannot, I know that for a fact. Pretty tough to short on Weeble. I trapped myself on a 48 spy call. I don't even think it's gonna pay out, trying to get out, break even. We're making this move above VWAP, hey. You never know. You never know. You know, with that, respect your risk, of course, but. Yeah, I would just Google, if you're looking to short penny stocks, I would just Google that exactly. You know, best brokers to short penny stocks or best brokers to short equity. I got calls also right in the middle, praying. A little move up, huh? I use, so I trade futures, Chris. I trade with Ninja Trader. Noting it, thank you. You got it, the grind. You got it. Y'all, we're at, we're at 1,200 or almost 2,000 likes. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, fam. Thanks for the support. We're pushing up with relatively low volume on this two minute chart. Charles Schraub can short penny. Okay, all right. At least it gives me the option to, I haven't done it. I think, cause like you could, you could probably short like the bigger names like Apple, Microsoft. I think I could do that on Weeble, but then the pennies, it really didn't want me to like it. I can't remember what it said, but it didn't want me shorting pennies. The penny stocks. So we closed bullish on this 15 minute with lower volume, not exactly what I wanted to see. Um, when I mentioned that I was you know, looking to go long. So <clears throat> I'll probably remain patient. We have a fair value gap up here as well. We'll do it down here on ES since we have that trade thing up there. 
there's a fair value gap on the five minute. If you trade fair value gaps or are, uh, if you're interested in learning them, right, this impulse candle here at 830, you can see the neighboring candle, the wick on the candle on top, that bottom wick, and then this top wick of that neighboring candle below didn't overlap. And that area where it doesn't overlap creates a fair value gap. Can serve for entries for continuation. That said, starting to get some buy in balance. <clears throat> if you're on YouTube, you can see that. You can see that as we've pushed up here, ironically, filling some orders right up there. So we'll see. Fair value gaps have worked really well, really well at the beginning of this year. So I've been watching them. Will it work here? I don't know, <laughs> but but it's there. It's there. Excuse me. Super trimmer with the thumbs up. Do you think it's possible to trade just off order flow and no candles? Um. Yeah, yeah. I mean, order flow is technically a candlestick chart. So I don't like the way that uh, the way that Ninja Trader like formats it. If I were to chart on it, and then when you zoom out, you can't really see the you know what's inside of as much. So I just stick to charting on TradingView, but. You know, the bars, These. this is just a candle body. You know, it's just a five minute uh, chart, right? And then down below where there's no bar, that's the body. That's the wick of the candle, sorry. So yeah, you could definitely do that. Mike Doug, thanks for the likes. I guess you could always zoom out, right? Like, let's configure this, let's see. Let's get a 60 minute volumetric. Let's see what a 60 minute looks like. Oh, I need that. <laughs> can you trade fractional shares on Thinkorswim? You can, you sure can. Yeah, I see like here's a 60 minute chart. Usually when I'm looking at the 60 minute, I'm zoomed out. I'm really zoomed out. And so it's just a little less relevant for me. I guess the color shading can be useful, but But uh, you can see 60 minute volumetric. It's not something that I personally use. Not something that I personally use. The VIX is not buying this rally. Oh, that's good to know. You trade SPY 2 or just Forex? Uh, it's actually SPY. Yeah, Chris, I trade SPY and ES Futures. I don't trade Forex. This Umar trade guru. Oh, Umar Ashraf, J Diamond, the GOAT. He's a he's great person to follow. Preaches he only trades order flow, and I have no clue. Uh, he trades supply and demand as well. Yeah, I've been following Umar for a while. Umar, one of the few out there that will share <clears throat> like full full strategy, um, super transparent. Yeah, I'm a big fan of of his and his his trading journal, Tradezilla. Not affiliated, not affiliated with them. Would love to be if you're out there, Umar, listening to this. But <laughs> I use I use uh, Tradezilla every day. Big fan of Umar. <clears throat> Little chop, huh? Who mentioned the VIX? Let's look at the VIX. Um, he's doing this trade. No, I'm not. 
Yeah, very little reaction. <sighs> what are Vic's futures looking like? Similar. Oh, sorry, this is all jacked up now because of the watch list that I opened. There we go. I did, when VIX is pumping this hard while market goes up, usually see a violent drop. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, usually they work in inverse, right? We just got a reversal candle up here. Um, it's likely in this fair value gap too. Yup, in the fair value gap. Let's see if uh, volume picks up. What I don't like about an entry right here, right now, is that we have SPY VWAP sitting right below. Right below. If we reclaim that, we could potentially catch an entry to the downside. I would watch that. <clears throat> Alejandro just said, what are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, we just got a reversal candle up here in this fair value gap. That's what I was saying. If we push down, we'd have to reclaim VWAP for me to be comfortable with it. But if we do that, you know, potentially, could potentially see something. Everybody here aware of the giveaway? Giving away an entry seat for the course and the premium discord where I share my watch list and my every single trade that I take. If you wanna enter that giveaway and go follow my socials, links are in bio. Um, my Instagram, my YouTube, my TikTok, and then comment on my last YouTube video, just say giveaway. You'll see a bunch of people have already done that. That'll enter you into the giveaway. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we will announce the winner tomorrow on the live. The grind, appreciate the likes. Just a, just a thank you. We hit 10K followers on TikTok. Um, and as a thank you, you know, for following along and for the support, um, you know, happy to, happy to do a little giveaway. <clears throat> NVIDIA holding everything up, is that right? Hmm. Apple's pushing up too. Google's just had a trend day straight up. Yeah, the bigger names have had <clears throat> have had pretty big moves up. I don't know if you can see this. <clears throat> There's the rest of the market. For those that are on YouTube, you can see the rest of the big market names. <clears throat> Why do something for us, huh? Caught that one trade, we're ready for more, but not if you're looking like this. <laughs> it's patient trading, right? <clears throat> patient trading is profitable trading, y'all. I will also watch if we push up in this in this manner, um, and we see volume up there. SPX is a big level, has a big level. This whole psych number forty nine hundred. It's gonna be big. So I have that on watch too. We just thought either got to push down or push up. Pick a direction. Y'all, I'm gonna be right back in like two minutes. I'll be right back, y'all.
All right, gang, we back. Thanks for sticking around. Spy head and shoulders looks like, kind of does. Yeah, I could see it forming. The video holding everything up. Spy one's 489. <clears throat> Don't know what it wants. Yeah, sitting here patiently waiting for this to do something. Patiently. We either got to push up into 4,900. We can catch a reject down there or push below this fair value gap, this uh, back below VWAP. Got to pick a side for show. Taylor, thanks for the likes. Appreciate that. We're at 3,100 likes on a on a slow Thursday. Really appreciate the support, everybody. Or do we need Darnell to full port and move the market? <laughs> that might be the key. <laughs> Darnell, where are you at? <laughs> Spy should go to 47.50 or below. This is fourth perspectives. Taylor, thanks for the likes. I see those coming through. I appreciate you. Jaden, thanks for the likes. Appreciate the support. Likes go a long way. Pushes the live out into the algorithm, helps us help other people, and I appreciate the support. If you're on YouTube, <clears throat> if you're on YouTube, I think we're pretty balanced up until just recently, as far as the orders go. You know, at the highs up here, we're getting 680 aggressive buys, 400, 559. It's kind of on lower volume, but, you know, it's there. It seems like it's just buyers are more present um, and just, you know, it's lacking sellers at this point. Low volume overall. Definitely enlightened, mister, about these candles. And trading view. Oh, do you mean the order flow? The volumetric chart? Yeah, it just shows the aggressive buys and the aggressive sales that are hitting the bid and the ask. Streaming that on YouTube if you want to take a look at that. A little chilly. <clears throat> Push up or push down, spy. Market is quiet. Go enter the giveaway if you haven't. Yeah, you've got some time right now. You inputs yet? No, we took this trade to the downside earlier. Really nice, clean trade. Um, it's been it though. Low volume, yeah. Yup. <sighs> some sellers stepping in here. Seeing some imbalance here. <clears throat> Brian on YouTube says, how do you put volume, how do you put volume in, <laughs> into the market? <laughs> uh, gotta wait for, yeah, the bigger players to step in. Millions of dollars have to come into the market. Millions and millions. 
like for me <clears throat> on a five minute candle, if a five minute candle has 300K, 300K shares traded, <clears throat> excuse me, then that's higher volume. Then that's higher volume for me. And you gotta think about, you know, what that, how many transactions are in there, how much money is moving, right? So if there's 300K shares traded and um, the price of SPY right now is 47, that's within a five minute period, it'd be $146 million to move that would move um, SPY in that five minute period. How do you put your volume on your order flow, says Brian. So on the order flow, <clears throat> uh, it's all just indicators. Um, I guess you're on YouTube, so I can just show here. If you go to your indicators, uh, what are indicators on this? I think it's a drop down here. Yeah, indicators will show you, it's taking a second. That's where you do it. <laughs> Looks like it's taking a second. Wonder how the big short guy is doing since he placed a multi-million dollar short position allegedly. You know what I heard about that in Fourth Perspectives? Um, is that Michael Burry? I think it was Michael Burry. But he, uh, it was, it was a, it was puts that he bought. And every time you buy a put, that contract is leveraged, you know, times 100 of that stock. And so I think they just, um, basically added up, you know, however big his short position was, say he took a hundred contracts, a hundred puts, um, you multiply that hundred times the price of the stock. Um, so it was basically a hundred times a hundred. So if it was spy, right, he bought 487 times a hundred. Um, when in all reality, that put position would not be that big. So I don't know. During that 146 million, all I could see was Austin Powers, one million dollars, <laughs> one billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here you go, Brian. Um, volume is right here. You just add that to your indicators, and it'll add it to the bottom down there. Or if you're talking about this, this is in the setup of the chart, right? If you're talking about the volume on the order flow right there. Yep. So are we in a false rally? I I kind of believe so. You know, I just trade the price action, so I'll trade it as it is. But um, yeah, inflation is incredibly high right now. There's a lot of things that say, you know, we should not be in a bullish market. Yet we are here. So just gotta trade the just gotta trade the action. Just got to trade the action. <clears throat> Taylor, thanks for the likes. Should we buy some Tesla for a swing trade? I think it has a little bit lower to go. You know, if I was looking for a sniper entry, I would wait a little bit longer. Let's go look at that. That's gonna be more exciting than watching SPY right now. So Tesla, if I were to be watching it for a swing trade, which I'm not, because <laughs> I don't swing trade, and Tesla, I don't trade Tesla. <clears throat> Are you trading options at all of any stock positions? I'm not, no. So what we were looking at Tesla here just broke below previous, the way I'm looking at this, previous daily supply. Um, it's trading at 186. I would, you know, if I were watching it, I like this level here a little bit more at 166, 165, my opinion. But I don't swing trade. <laughs> Hmm. 
mainly because it just broke below that area. Could bounce here, but after earnings that are looking like that, I gotta, I gotta wait. Baby cow, what's up? What's up, baby cow? And you have a really clean supply zone on the weekly here, so. what I would watch. If you want a quick supply and demand lesson, right? <clears throat> you look for a an explosive move to one direction. This is, for me, this is an explosive move, right? It broke out of this range. This push had to have been institutional buying. So you look for the first candle that started that move, right? So this trend is up. What started this trend here? This is the first candle before that trend and I like how this is a really bullish, really bullish weekly candle. So bottom of the wick to the top of the body, mark that in green. I'd watch down there for a swing. Previous swing low, it's demand. You got some support, I'd watch that. That's why I would look at Tesla personally from somebody that rarely takes swings. So don't ever listen to me. <laughs> uh, morning, what's up veteran? For spy, is that a hangman candle? Says Nestar. Um, hangman. Is it similar to like a bullish hammer? You talking about this five minute? If so, yes. I would call this a bullish hammer. Yeah, that last five minute. More rain, yeah, it was raining this morning too. Went for a little walk this morning. It was raining up here too. Fill our lakes, right? <laughs> Can you throw some fibs on SPY? Yeah, for sure. I have one um, from the start of this news move and really the bottom of this like consolidation and pre-market. I have this fib from down there to today's high and we bounced off the 50%. Intraday, you're gonna have a 50% retracement right around VWAP. If you look at just the day's action, our high to low areas, 50% right around here. But we've already tested these areas, so. I'm not watching those. So I'm not watching those as much. Brett's snowing now in Utah, is it? We don't have snow down here. It used to be a little colder, I think. I'm sure our mountains are getting it though, investor. Which is good. I'm, I'm headed back to the mountains this, uh, this weekend. How many trades do you take in a day? Um, I try to cap it at about three. Today I only took one. What do you think about prop firms that allow HFT bots to pass your challenge for you? I actually don't know what an HFT bot is. Yeah, what is that? <clears throat> bots in general have me a little skeptical just because I think if there was really a bot out there, I just, that could, that could print money like that, I don't think it would be available to the public. High frequency trade, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't have much of an opinion on him. I don't I don't know a whole lot about him. Puts says Alejandro. Um, <clears throat> if we can break below VWAP, we are getting a big selling balance here. VWAP's gonna be support here on spy. Let's see how we look underneath that. What I like about that is if we did top out up there, that was a fair value gap. That 
That was a fair value gap up there. Taylor, thanks for the likes. A lot of sell imbalance. If you're on YouTube, you can see that coming through here on this push down. There's 792 buyers right there at 4917. And, uh, you know, they're, they look to be trapped right now. This candle's going to close in two minutes. Let's see. Let's see. Never clear the fair value gap fully though again, like five cents off. Yeah, I didn't like touch it. It doesn't have to touch touch all of it though. At least in my experience. It's good to see some good to see some flow coming in. Can you please explain a fair value gap? Yep, you see it on the uh, that bottom ES chart there. This candle created one. This 830 to 835 candle. Where the neighboring candles wicks and bodies, of course, you know, the wicks are gonna be included in that. The wicks do not touch that inside candle. So it's a three candle structure, right? One, two, three. The middle candle is where that fair value gap is created. And if the wicks do not overlap with the body, that area is a fair value gap. And you have one created right there. The whole idea there is it pushed down so aggressively that there's gonna be remaining, there's gonna be um, orders left in there. You know, interested participants in the market for continuation. You push back into that area, fill those orders, and make that move. I'm learning from you. Thank you. You got it, Taylor. You got it. Glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. Ugh. I'm not on a short yet. No, I was watching VWAP really for uh, for us to clear that on the five minute. Big moves have been coming towards the end of the day. Yeah, true. True, Alejandro. So it wicked below on that five minute, wicked below, um, <clears throat> it was held up though. Watching the two, watching the two to see if we wanna catch an entry here. Zach, thanks for the likes. We need big orders there, volume to step in either way. If we were to take this, right, we're up we're up on the day, taking this really light. So even if this goes against us, we are not losing. We are we turn this this gate this day will remain green. That's a key. Stop chart spy. It is. Looking for a short entry. I'm open to it if the market shows that it wants to really move. Um, I got short at the fair value gap 21. Should I ride it to VWAP? Yeah, it looks like we got it on SPY already, Brian. Hope AMD goes up and SPY goes down. They've been leveraging each other during the day. Oh, okay. All right. Luciano, I haven't been watching that, but that's good to know. Luciano on YouTube. Bada bing, bada bam. <clears throat> and that's why we did not enter <laughs> right there. We always wait for confirmation, right? And for confirmation to happen, you need a candle body closed beneath or above the level that you're watching. We were watching VWAP in this case, 47.38. Push down below it, body closed above it. No confirmation that we broke this level. So no trade. So no trade. And ideally, we would have broken that come back up, retested it, traded that to the downside. Brian says I got out at 16, nice. Nice, little five point move for you, huh? Nice trade, Brian. Props to Brian.
take a five point move any day any day if i could take five points and walk away from the market done good to go do you do market or limits i do market i go market yeah uh sorry if i'm entering a trade e garcia i enter market typically i would say like 90 percent of the time if uh as i'm trimming along the way i limit i try to limit order those just to get, you know, to maximize the most that I can out of a trade. <clears throat> Just to maximize. Tim four. What indicators do you use to view total of buyers versus sellers? So that's my volumetric chart that you saw that I've showed a couple times. That we stream on YouTube. What a bounce. Jeez, what a bounce. And I use Ninja Trader for that. So you trade futures. How does that work? Yeah, I trade futures. For every point of movement up or down, every point of movement up or down, you make or lose $50. That's it. No premiums, no nothing. Brian says, I just can't hold past four or five points. Yeah, I mean, it takes time, right? And it depends on your strategy, right? Like if five points is a is over a two to one or a three to one, like... You, you know, take that, take that all day. That's great. Early on when I was like really testing my strategy or if I'm testing anything new, I'll get in with my full position, trim at like a two to one and then let the rest ride. If I want to learn really how the setup works and train my brain, I'll let the rest ride and then go back and journal what I could have changed or what to watch for to maximize that position, maybe hold past but it's not bad, you know, not a bad thing. If you're hitting your risk reward numbers, Brian, no reason to change it necessarily. Yeah. Maybe watch the market after the fact and then, you know, see if see if it's worth holding in the future. If not, you know, stick to what you do. No problem with that. Index is 47.80, expectations are say 4.87. So how would you position yourself? Um, <clears throat> like the short of it is, I would just wait for a key entry where my stop loss can be around two points. If it's more than that, I don't really like it. Um, that's the simplest way that I explain it, fourth perspectives. For every 10 cents that SPY moves, ES will move about a point, you know, roughly, roughly. I only trade with one contract right now. Um, ES or MES, Brian? Can you explain the colors on the order flow chart? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, green just means imbalance of buying. The deeper the green, the more there's buying. Red, same thing. The deeper the red, the brighter the red, the more imbalance there is selling. Pink shows an imbalance diagonally. So to the sell side, I think I have it set to a 2X multiple. So if there's double the sellers, diagonally here, then um, you'll get that pink imbalance. Buying is the same thing, diagonally, double the buying, you'll get that pink indicator showing imbalance that way too. So the ES is your trading symbol and you buy the index. Um, I trade ES, ES contracts, fourth, fourth perspectives. Say you buy off the of 15, do you keep watching and sell off the of 15 or go shorter time frame to sell? Uh, Ryan, I use the two minute, the five minute, and the 15. Two minute, five minute, and the 15 to manage the trade. Yeah, I'll use a combination of all of them. Do you use hop keys to jump in and out? Nope, I just use the Super Dom on Ninja Trader. Spy rip with no volume. I know, I, I like. I'm not a fan of that. Super Dreamer says, I was up 80% on spy call yesterday right when I was going to sell. Me, internet crashed when it came back. I was Oh, that is the most frustrating thing in the world, Super Trimmer. I'm sorry. Still holding long if it goes to zero. Um, maybe good to, uh, you know, just have your broker on your phone. Random, you know, random, random idea. Exact same as I do. Nice, Ryan. Yes, Ninja Trader is my broker. Uh, Luciano says, AMD riding the train. AMD. 
Nice. AMD new high of day. Brian, you use ES. So maybe one thing to, you know, one thing to try is, is take the trade on MES instead. And that way you can trim along the way. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that way you can, you can, you can simulate as if you're trading with multiple ES contracts, start to build the psychology behind trimming. If you want to do that, not that you have to, you know, if you're making five points, only losing two points on every trade, it's great. That is great. So use Ninja Trader as your broker. Yes. Nice, Ryan. 15, five and two. How long can you hold ES contracts? I think as long as you have the margin in your account, you can continue to hold them uh, until they roll over. So a quarter, three months. Ryan says, glad TikTok didn't delete my comments again. Yeah, that was crazy, dude. <laughs> that was weird. That was weird. <clears throat> so everybody entered into the giveaway. Did I beat the heck out of that? Is everybody aware of it? I just don't want to show up tomorrow and then people be like, oh, I didn't hear about the giveaway. Like, <laughs> I want to give everybody a fair chance. If anybody doesn't know about it, let me know. We'll plug it. OMG, I almost got it all back. Nice, super trimmer. But we are doing a giveaway for the course and the premium Discord, both of them. It's right there. Awesome. Was watching a little higher on SPX. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. I wanted to... Alt R that. Can I enter? Is no. <laughs> you could if you want another one. Yeah, if you want another, uh, <laughs> I guess another seat. Um, <clears throat> Do you think S&P will have a reversal if it reaches the high of day zone? I'm watching for it. Yeah, this 4,900 area on SPX. How do I enter the giveaway, says Luke? So, <clears throat> giveaway, um, to enter the giveaway, just follow all my socials, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. All of those are in that link to my bio, link in my bio. And uh, yeah, just follow along there and then go in, that, in my last YouTube video, just write giveaway and you'll enter the giveaway. I'm playing, give the opportunity to others. <laughs> Fair enough, is no. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah, I think I need to join your room and learn more about supply and demand to make my stops smaller. You got it, Brian. You got it, would love to help out. <clears throat> would love to help out. You got it. A lot of volume on both of those last candles. We didn't get up into my, my area that I wanted, but uh, check out the spy. A lot of volume here. All right, if you're, on, if you're on YouTube, you can see that imbalance. Look at that imbalance of sellers. Jeez, if we were at a key area for me right now, I would be entering in short. It's exactly what I like to see at key levels. If we're not in a key level, I don't really take the trade, but a lot of selling balance there. These dang red candles, yeah, I feel that. So see how the two minute picked up here? Zoom out a little bit. Very low volume pump up, high volume reversal candle. Man, I wasn't watching that closely. I might've taken that. It was just earlier than I wanted again. This is already earlier than I wanted. Gnarly move to the downside. Ugh. Super trimmer, were you able to get out of that trade? You were up. Were you up a little bit there? Nelly trades got out of it. Okay, that's that's good.
No, I got out minus 20%. Okay, all right. Small loss, right? Small loss, big win. It's just the, just the time frame, so the red candle looks smaller. Problem solved. <laughs> she goes, says Ryan. A lot of selling balance here, man. A lot of it. It's all good, better than what it was. Yeah, true. True that. That's one of the most frustrating things for me, Super Trimmer. For real. It is so frustrating. Nah, Louise, I was watching her up higher. Yeah, I went it up higher. But there's so much selling balance here. It's wild. So much. If we break below VWAP, I'll watch that for a uh I'll watch that for a retest. Jeez. Repeat of what just happened. I thought it was gonna be like 200% when internet came back. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's so frustrating, brother. Look at that 15 minute candle. Sheesh. 15 minute candle, close under VWAP with this much volume. I would enter. I'd be open to it. Would have to do that though. TikTok is so delayed compared to YouTube. Oh really? A lot of people say the opposite. Hey, glad, glad we have it up though. Man, that five minute has so much volume in it. Whip sawing both ways, gnarly. Some nasty action, y'all. Don't get chopped out here. Be careful, wait for confirmation. That was the actual full clear of the fair value gap in the five minute, Alex. Ah, okay. I removed uh, ES. Like it reached to the very top of it. Oh yeah, broke above it a little bit too. I have Damie, 47.92. Some interesting action here, everybody. Very interesting. Back and forth, back and forth. <clears throat> if you haven't entered the giveaway and want to enter there, um, go follow the socials. We're giving away a seat to the course and to the premium Discord. I've already had some great testimonials from folks passing uh, funded accounts, using the strategies in there from people being becoming profitable, managing their risk. Um, so yeah, go take a look if that's for you. If you if you know you're really interested, go ahead and you know, the the it's heavily discounted now either way. Um, you'll get access to that either way. <clears throat> um, links for all of that are in my profile bio. I'm gonna call it for today. This action's pretty wild. And uh, if anything, we'll see you in the Discord. We'll see you back. Tomorrow, Luciana says chop, chop day. Yeah, for sure. Um, the other piece, you know, if you've just been looking to learn and see what it's like in the premium side of the Discord, we have free Fridays every Friday. So what that means is everybody that's in the Discord gets access to the premium features on Fridays. So that will be, uh, we have that tomorrow. Um, join up. If you go to that same link in my bio, scroll all the way to the bottom, put in your name and email, uh, and you'll get a link yeah, to the to the free portion of the Discord. Go and check out these futures on Ninja Trader. Nice. That's it for me though, y'all. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next uh, next uh, live. Thanks, y'all. Just had to block that that fake mind your growth account is in this again. Block them. All right. <laughs>